can start sitting comfortably. Crisscross, Vajrasana, Half Padmasana, Full Padmasana, whatever you want. As you inhale, lengthen your back. As you exhale, relax your back. As you inhale, roll your shoulders up and out. Exhaling, relax your shoulders, opening up your heart space. If your upper arms are a little too close to your upper rib cage, gently move it away, create more space for yourself in the sides. Head and neck in line with the spine. Soft facial muscles. Preferably eyes are closed unless you have vertigo issues or any other issues, you can keep them open. Starting to bring your awareness to your breath, to the tip of your nose. Just watching your inhalations and exhalations. Breathing only through the nose. Oh. Slowly start making your inhalations long. Exhalations even longer. With the next few exhalations, start recognizing any tension in your muscles. Are you shutting your eyes too tight? Holding up your shoulders, anything. Start relaxing all your muscles. With the next few exhalations, start emptying your mind. Any thought, any worries, anything at all that is rising up in your mind, which is not letting you stay in the present moment. Just start exhaling it out. With every exhalation, relax a little more, becoming aware of your own space. Hands at the heart center, Namaskara Mudra, thumbs touching your heart, palms gently pressing against each other, always staying connected with your heart. We're going to begin by chanting three Omkaras and then the opening prayer. Take a nice deep inhale breath. Always 
know your limitations and just do only what you can. Remember, Ahimsa begins on the mat. Be kind to your body, listen to your body. All right? With inhalation, back then, to the neck. Exhaling, tuck your knee chin. Continue two more rounds on your own. Awareness on your breathing. The next inhalation, bring your head to neutral. Next exhalation, twisting it to the left. Inhaling center. Exhaling right. Inhaling center. Continue two more rounds on your own with your own breathing. Bring your head back to neutral. Once you're done, take your time, finish your round. Hands shoulder level, palms facing up. Bringing your fingers on your shoulders, bringing your elbows closer, as close as you can. Inhaling, opening up. Exhaling, bringing it out. Inhaling, open. Exhale back. Continue. Again, chin is parallel to the mat. Don't round your neck and bend down. Now bringing your elbows closer. Inhaling, taking it back the other way. Continue. Now keeping your shoulders in neutral. Waves. The other way. Release, relax your shoulders. Shoulders are bothering you. Shoulder shrugs. Shoulder rolls forward and backwards. Hands in Namaste. Again, whenever you do this, shoulders will have to relax. Don't keep raising your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Inhaling, stretching it out. Exhaling, bringing it back. As you inhale, begin moving your hands. Lengthen. Exhaling behind your head, try not to bend your head. Inhaling up. Exhaling, bringing it down. Two more rounds on your own with breathing. Synchronizing your breath and your movement. Hands, relax your shoulders. Now right shoulder, right hand out. Palm facing down, left hand on your right shoulder. Get a yoga fist. And then making big folding action. Two times the other way. Slowly relax. You can do two. Left arm out, yoga fist on this side, big folding action. Again, we don't have to turn and look at our hand. You're still looking straight, focus. Few times the other way. Slowly relax. Relax your shoulders, keep shoulder shuts. Shoulder rolls forward and backwards. Bringing your right arm next to your right hip, palm facing down, opening up the sides, inhaling, left arm goes up, stretch it up, exhaling, sliding your right arm only as much as you can. If your left hip is raising, slide your arm back, only as much as you can, slide your arm back, yes. Open up if you can, open your shoulders, fingers are spread out, 
Fingers are spread out in both your hands. Press down on the bottom hand. Feel that energy flowing all the way through your fingers on the top. Breathing. You opened up your shoulder, bringing it back to neutral, then slowly bringing your left arm down. Next, your left hip. Inhaling, right arm goes all the way up. Exhaling, sliding your left arm only as much as you can. Then open up if you can. Open up your fingers. Feel that opening all the way from your right waist. Breathing. Bringing it back. Hands on your thighs. Inhale, roll out your shoulders. Open up your heart space. Inhale again, lengthen your back. Exhaling, take a twist to the left. Take the left hand as close to your right hip if you can as possible. Twist towards the right. Peeling off your left shoulder. Chin parallel to the mat. Breathing. Every exhalation, relaxing into the twist. Inhale, center, exhaling, twist. So you inhale, coming to the center, exhale, relax. Now stretch out your legs in front of you. Keep a strap with you if you need. Stretching out your legs. Now take your right leg, place it on the left thigh. Just above your knee, not on the knee, leg number four. Keep your hands at the back. Rest your hands. Now hold your left leg at the knee, left foot down, flatten out your left foot. And now slowly see if you can walk your left foot a little in. Right. Hands a little forward, getting that stretch. Dorsiflex your right foot. So that is toes spread out, toes coming towards you. Open up. Breathing. Feel what's happening. Be mindful of your right thigh. If you want a better stretch, walking a little more. Work with your own bodies. Huh? Yes, that's it. See how much ever you can. If not, just slide out. You don't have to do too much. Okay? Only how much ever you can. Now from here, slowly, taking your left elbow, uh, taking your right foot with that, you can keep your left leg down or you can spread out, taking your right arm underneath. If you can, clasp your fingers, do that. Left elbow here, on your right. You can't see me because of the computer, right here. Yeah, this way. If you can, if not, just this, okay? Like rocking a wave. Move it. Move your right hip. Yes. You can stretch out your left leg or do this. Okay, not bend. Stretch it out or bend it. Yes. Breathing. Now bringing it to neutral. Grab hold of your right foot. If you can stretch it out, stretch it out. If you not, use a strap. Right? Stretch out your left leg, ma'am. Yes. Looking at the toes. Lengthen if you can, pushing the right heel out. Breathing. Awesome. Slowly release. Set out your right leg. Moving it up and down to anything you need to, to relax your knees. Now, left leg on your right thigh. Flatten out your right foot. Walk in your right leg as close to your hip as possible. If you want a better stretch, walk in closer. Adjust your hands. Work with your own bodies. I don't know what your body is telling. Right? Flatten out your right foot. Walk the right foot a little back. Walk it towards your right leg. Yes. Breathing. Dorsiflex the top leg, top foot. Toes, so you can be protecting your knees. Breathing. So 
gently stretching down to your right. Grab hold of your left leg, just like the way you did with your right. You can either stretch out your right leg or place it here, whatever works. Then rocking the baby. Bringing it to neutral, grabbing hold of your left foot, lengthen it. Use a strap if you need, if you can't reach, hold it here. Looking at the toes, breathing. Again, right leg is still active. Breathing. Still pushing out, toes coming towards you. Baby release. Relax your legs, move your, your toes. Now from here, take ankle rolls, bringing your toes together in the center, just making ankle circles. Few times one way, few times the other. Dorsiflexing and sandwiching that, pointing your toes and taking the foot towards you, stretching it. Bringing your hands. Grabbing hold of your fingers. Or oh, feel like you have a pen, you have some writing instrument in your hand and writing number eight. You're going to write number eight with that. Now write it the other way. Going on all four, stable top. Stack up your body properly. Fingers are spread out. Parallel on the back, doing your cat and cow. When you look in between your thighs, right? If you don't know how big, what is the size you need to take, your elbow and your hand, take your elbow, place it near your right knee, place your hand down like this, and this is how much is the distance. And then taking both your elbows, place it here near your knees, place your hands flat on the mat. Now take an extra palm distance, just an extra palm distance and then come up. When I look in between my thighs, I'm not seeing my feet flatten out. Yes. That means your feet has to be parallel. Yes, awesome. Can you explain to your mom? Make this some legs. Can you? Yeah. yeah, just your hip distance. Okay. Okay. Now doing your regular cat and cow. Inhaling, exhaling, exhaling, push your arms, palms away, round in your back. Exhaling, with the next inhalation, coming to neutral. Next exhalation, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Swanasana, pushing your hips up, pushing your heels down. Walk your dog a few times. One leg at a time, lifting one heel. Not completely off the mat, toes are still touching the mat. Stretch out the other leg. Now, keeping your feet in neutral, heels trying to go down. Hips going up, thighs going to the back of the room. Tummy coming towards the thigh, top of the head trying to come down to the mat. Shoulders moving away from your ears, fingers are spread out. Looking at your toes. Looking between your hands, walking your feet forward. Stay there, release your hands. See if you can grab hold of your elbows or with the opposite palms. Relax your head, relax your elbows, just let it move. Knees up in. Slowly dropping your hands down, inhaling halfway up, lengthening your legs, back parallel to the mat. Exhaling, fold, bending your legs, just going down, relaxing. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, take your hands to your waist. As you inhale, coming up one vertebrae at a time. Keep pressing down on your feet. Exhale, stay. Inhale, gentle back bend. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Stop. Relax. Now we're going to use the mat this way. You have a lot of space placed on either side. If you don't, don't worry. You have one block. Keep it towards the right side. So we're going to be all doing all the standing asanas this way. If you have space, you can always move the mat like this so you can see. Opening up the legs. As comfortably wide as you can. Slowly inhaling, both your arms go up, just cross them, exhaling, bringing it down, bending your legs and then you keep going down like you're going to just wave it, inhale, up, exhaling down, bending your legs and then you keep going down, inhale, up, exhaling, bringing it down, inhaling, up, namaste. Lengthen. Breathing. Exhaling, bringing your hands down. Hold your legs at the knees. Taking your right arm on your right thigh. Left arm goes up. See if you can bend to the right. Breathing. Feel the stability. Take the support of your feet. Press it down. Breathing. Inhaling, come back. Exhaling, bring your hand up. Right hand still on the right thigh. Inhaling, just lift off your left hand up. No bending, just straighten it. Straighten it. Lengthen as much as you can. Bring it down, relax. Inhaling, left hand again goes up. Exhaling, see if you can slide your right arm down. Keep pressing down on your feet so your legs will not shake. Inhaling, come back up. Inhaling, up. Bend your legs at the knees. Left hand on your left thigh. Inhaling, right arm goes up. Exhaling, bend to the left. Breathing. Inhaling, coming back. Exhaling, bring it down. Left hand is still on the left thigh. Inhaling, right arm goes up. Just straighten it. You're not bending. You're still straight, lifting only your right hand up. Lengthen. See if you can slide your left hand down and bend to this side. Inhaling slowly, come back up. Exhaling slowly, release. Relax your shoulders. Shoulders, do whatever you need to do. Now bending and taking your left foot a little in, right leg, long edge of the mat, 90 degrees. Again, it is like when you bring it back, you should be able to draw a line. The foot, right heel has to come and touch somewhere near the arch. This is for warrior two. Now from here, inhaling, both your arms go up, lengthen. Just going to work on our knees a little. Exhaling, warrior two legs. Just bending your right leg at the knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back. Again, your right knee will not go beyond your right toes. Adjust the back leg. Inhale. Exhale. Both your feet on the mat so it won't slip. Inhaling up. Now, with the next exhalation, coming to warrior two. Right 
mean not going beyond your right toes. Right thigh trying to stay parallel to the mat. Again, pressing on the outer edges of your left foot. Right? Opening up, turning and looking at your right extended arm. Breathing. Feel like both the hands are lengthening up. Somebody's pulling it. Right hand on your right thigh. Left hand goes over Parshvakonasana. If you have a block, you can place a block outside your right foot or on the mat, then stretch it out. Breathing. Again, the outside of the left foot is still pressing down. Slowly come back to warrior two. Left hand on the left thigh, right arm goes over, reverse warrior. Open up. Back to warrior two. Lengthen your right leg. Straighten your right leg. Straighten your right leg. Pushing your left hip out. Feel like you're going to reach for something in the front. Bringing your hand down. Triangle. If you can reach down, reach down. Block, put a block on the outside of your right foot. If not, just touch wherever you can. Left arm goes up. Turn and look at the extended left arm if you can. Trying to keep your shoulders in the same line. Both your shoulders in the same line. Looking at the left thumb. Breathing. Inhale. Coming to warrior two. Exhaling, hands down. Turning your right foot forward. Bring your legs closer, relax your legs. While you're trying to relax, going on your toes, lengthen, go on your heel, find a drishti focal point, and then bringing it up. You need more balance, hands go up, fingers clasp, stretch out, inhale, lengthening. Stay there, try and hold for a few breaths. Let's count. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, slowly release. Now opening out your legs, having a block on the left side. Left leg, left foot, 90 degree to the long edge of your mat. Right leg turned in a little. Inhaling, arms go up, lengthen. Exhaling, warrior. Turn your right foot a little more, yes. Warrior. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior. Inhale. Exhaling, come to warrior to stay in warrior two. Again, left knee will not go beyond your left toes. Pressing on the outer edges of your back foot. Keeping that hip open. Feel like somebody is opening, pulling your hands. Lengthen your hands on either side. Turning and looking at your extended left hand. Breathing. Left hand on your left thigh. Right arm over. Breathing. Looking at the right arm over your head this way. Yes, and turn and look at your, this way, look at your fingers. Yes, breathing. Parshvakonasana. Coming back to warrior two. Come back to warrior two. Right hand on your right thigh, left hand goes over. Reverse warrior. Breathing. Warrior two. Straighten out your left leg. Push your right hip out. Keep bending to the left leg. You're going to reach for something. Then taking your left hand down, right arm goes up. Triangle, Vikonasana. Turning and looking at the right thumb. Trying to keep both your shoulders in line if you can. If you're having shoulder issues, take the hand and place it behind your back or here. Breathing. 
Slowly inhaling, coming back. Four here too. Eight, relax. Turn your leg in. Bring in your legs. Relax your legs. Now, we're going to do Brikshasana tree posture. Anybody who has balance issues, just stay by the wall. Again, Tadasana. Both your feet parallel. Both your feet parallel. You don't do this like a V. Straighten it out. Parallel. Find the stability under both your feet first. Start. Stabilizing your right leg so you can come on the toes of your left. Toes of your left. Stabilize your right foot completely. Tighten your right glute muscles, tummy gently tucked in. Find a drishti. Look for something that doesn't move. When the right side is stabilized, keep looking at the drishti. Then lift your leg as high as you can. If you can take it up all the way, place it on the inner right thigh. So inner right thigh and your left foot must be pressing each other, like that, just holding something in between. If you can, if not, here, wherever, just not against the knee. Just not against the knee. Not against the knee, above or below, yes. Grab hold of something, just touch it. Touch the wall, lift it up, stay straight. Again, don't push your hip out. Keep your back straight. See if you can grow your tree taller. Awesome, very nice. Keep breathing. Not against your knee, above the knee or below. Yes. Slowly bringing it down. Relax your legs. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Tadasana. Stabilize your left side. Start stabilizing the whole of your left. Find a drishti, something. Drishti is something, a focal point which does not move, like the switchboards. Anything, a point somewhere. Then when you're comfortable with the stability of your left leg, then lift your right, taking it all the way up as high as you can. Then you can grow your tree tall, wide, namaste, whatever works for you. This this much, this is good. Do this. Just this. <laughs> you won't stay. Just, just do this much on the floor. Okay. That's it. Breathing, not at the knee, not against the knee. Stay by the wall. You can hold the wall. Huh? Hold the wall. wall. You can just touch the wall. Oh. Awesome. Oh my God. Such steady trees. Awesome. Good job. Slowly bringing it down. <laughs> Relax. You can try. Go ahead, try. Oh, wow. Yes, that's it. Lift it from high. Yes, that's it. Good. That's it. You have you got it. I've got some support. That's okay. To begin with, it's good. You are able to do it with support. Okay. <laughs> All right. Slowly coming back. Right now, sitting down on your mat. We will do some sitting asanas. Stretching out your legs, opening it out. Want to sit on a block? Sit on a block if you're not comfortable. If your knees are rising up too much, sit on a block. Behind, behind your body. Yes. And opening it up. And we're just going to do alternate toes touching first. All right? Hands shoulder level. Inhale and worry only about exhalation. Inhalation will happen automatically. Okay? It's going to be passive. Inhale, exhale, touch, exhale, touch. Increase the speed a little if you can. Slow down. Slow down completely. Once you completely slow down, only then you need to stop. Once you finish, relax your hands at the back, relax your legs, relax your shoulders. Breathing. Again, 
bringing breath back to your normal breathing pattern. Do a cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth. Say, ah. Everything go. Okay, coming to sleepy. Sitting on your sit bones, pulling your butt fat back. Stretching your legs, toes, active feet, active. Don't let your heels fall off like this. Keeping it, yes. Now, inhale, arms go up. Exhaling, hinging at the hips. Feel like you're gonna reach for something forward. See if you can grab hold of your toes. Get a yoga lock. Two fingers underneath your big toe, thumb on top. Yoga lock, if you can. Staying there. If you can't reach, hold anywhere you can. Again, with inhalation, lengthen your back. With exhalation, trying to bring your chest down. Looking straight ahead. Don't look down. Look in between, somewhere far away. Yes. Breathing. Hold it here. Hold it. Then straighten your legs. Hold. Yes, that's it. Breathing. Slowly inhaling, coming back. Exhaling, rest your hands at the back. Relax your legs. Now holding the left leg in like the tree. We're going to do Janushira Sasana and then Paritripta Janushira Sasana. Now inhaling, both your arms go all the way up. Exhaling, reach for something you're going to reach forward, turning towards the right leg, lengthen. Then see what you can hold. If not, use a strap. Right, not on the arch, just above the arch. Hold, use the strap. Look at your toes. Again, your idea is not to just drop your head down. Lengthen your back. Breathing. If your hands are not touching anything, if it's in air, just drop it on the sides. Drop it on the side. Inhale, lengthen your back. And then, man, uh, orange, sorry, I don't know your name. Don't round your back and keep taking lengthen. See your chest, chin will have to come forward. From here, yes. Awesome, yes. Breathing. Slowly, inhaling, hands down. Exhaling, bring your hands down. So keep your legs the same way. Take your right hand behind you. Place it at the back. And we're just going to try it again. Lift off your hips. Inhale. Lift your hips up. If you can. Lifting it up. Sorry, I'm doing it the wrong way. Place your left hand down. Stop yeah. dancing. What's yeah. happening? Okay. So <laughs> inhaling. Lift it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exhaling down. I'm just looking at some of the expressions. I'm saying, wow, they're wondering what is happening. <laughs> okay. Uh, keep the legs the same way. Now, if you can, taking your right hand, your right hand, right leg is out. Taking your right hand inside. Keep a block if you want to, if you can't reach. Right? And then taking the hand, turning it this way. Turning it this way where the thumb is down. Can you grab hold of your leg like this? Just like this. If you can't, just hold it like this. Okay. This is how much. Now, opening up your chest, keep your hand on your left hand, on your left hip, open up. This is how much you can do. This is where you will be. If you can, lift your left hand up. Taking the left hand over the right, trying to touch your other foot. If you can. If not, just stay wherever you, you, you are. If your hand is just hanging, Yes, yeah. over the head. So you need to learn to open this, right? So take your hand, just keep it on your waist. Open up, just learn to open this up first. That's it. Keep your thigh down, keep your right thigh down. Just keep it on your hip for now. And slowly inhaling, coming back up. Exhaling, bringing it down. Everybody okay so far? Yes, do I see a smile? No? Okay. <laughs> All right, now bringing the right leg in. Stretching out your left leg. Now remember when you're trying to do this, you're using your side. You're not just trying to take your head down. So you're gonna hurt your neck if you're just going to try to go like this. Okay, make sure you're using your body. Now again, left leg is 
Here, inhaling, lengthen up. Exhaling, twisting towards the left. Feel like you're going to reach for something first. Then drop, release your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Again, trying to bring your chest down to your thigh. Looking at the toes. Breathing, shoulder blades move away. Shoulders move away from your ears. Shoulder blades trying to go towards each other at the back. So your chest can move forward. Breathing. Good. You can hold here. Hold here. Yes. Relax this leg. Relax that leg. Lie down. Oh. Yes. That's it. Stay there. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. One hand is still good. One hand is still good. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Beautiful. Stay there. Breathing. Inhaling. Coming back up. Exhaling. Bringing it down. Again. Which hand? Right hand. Okay. Yes. Right hand. <laughs> <laughs> Inhaling, lifting up, lift it up. Lift your foot. Breathing. Fingers are spread. Palm is flat on the ground. Slowly bringing it up. Release. Now, Janu. Janu Shirasana on this side. So taking your left hand, see if you can take it this way. When your palm is facing your foot, thumb down. Thumb is down. Uh, just hold it here. Hold here, hold here. Just hold this. Just staying there. Now taking your right hand, place it on the hip. Open up the right side. Turn. See if you can open up and look it out. If you can, then right arm goes over, bringing it over your head and then bringing it to the toe. Breathe. If not, just stay wherever you are. Do not overdo. Do not hurt yourself. Awesome. Slowly inhaling, coming back up. Exhaling, release. Release both your legs. Move it up and down. Take the last one. Before we do Shavasana, maybe we go to Shavasana today. Let's what you're going to do. Boat posture, Navasana. Flatten out your foot. Holding your legs at the knees. Again, you're holding it here. Now chest comes forward, shoulders roll out. Your tummy and your abdomen is like a sandwich. right? Tummy is going towards the back, back is coming towards the tummy. You should feel the stability here. Yes? Yes, got it? Hold it under your thighs. Now, if you can, go keep a stack with you if you have. Now, if you can, bringing your chest forward, chin a little forward, moving slightly back, lifting both your legs. If you can do this much, see if you can do this much and stretch out your hands. If you can, stretch out your legs, looking at the toes. Yes, keep looking at your toes, stretch it out. Breathing. Awesome, slowly bringing it back, sitting here. So people who are, if it's difficult, you can always use a strap, strap up, and then you can do your Navasana, <coughs> try to do this. Right? <coughs> try it one more time, and people who want to try can grab hold of their thumbs, yoga lock inside, um, toes, and then stretch it out. Stretch it out, stretch it out, if you can. If not, just this much or straight, whatever works, or use a strap. Awesome, slowly coming back, coming back. Cross your feet and the ankles, lengthen your back, hug it in, lengthen. That's it, and cross, cross it the other way, lengthen. Back. Now slowly. Lying down on the mat, folding your legs at the knees. Lie down on the mat, fold your legs at the knees. Taking your heels as close to your hips as possible. We'll just do a quick break so you can relax your back. Heels closer to your hips. If you can grab hold of your ankles, you can. If you're used to doing the bridge that way. If not, just place it by your side, palms facing down. Again, your knees are active, not keep trying to come towards each other. Feet pressing down. There's a line of energy that is flowing in the center. 
Um, inhaling, tummy, gently tucking, glute muscles active, lifting your hips up. Lift up as high as you can. You can take your hands underneath, clasp your fingers, keep pressing on your feet. Exhaling slowly, tummy tucking, bringing your hip closer to your hand at the bottom. Inhaling, lifting it up again. Exhaling down. One more time, last time, lift it up. Exhale, bringing it down. Now fold your legs at the, it's your knees are already folded, lift it up. Taking your right hand from the inside of your right foot, if you can, left hand on the inside of the left foot, happy baby. Just rotating from side to side. If you can't reach it, head has to stay down, neck has to stay down. If that is not possible, hold the leg underneath. Head and neck stays down. If you can't reach your toes, it doesn't matter. Hold somewhere on the leg, wherever you can reach. Just rolling from side to side. Down. Hugging your knees. Drop your feet down on the mat. Adjust your back. Then straighten out for Shavasana. Feet apart, hands apart. Down. Palms facing up. Move your hands a little away from your body. Let your body too close. Relax. Give permission to your body to relax. Do not worry about anything. You're in a safe place. Close your eyes. I'm watching the time. Stretch up. Sleeping, ma'am. Sleeping. Dekshavasana. Just like that. Set up. Eyes are closed for the whole practice. If you have glasses, mask, anything, you can take it off if you're uncomfortable for Shavasana so you can relax. Observing your body from the top of your head to your toes. Just scan your body. Moving your awareness to your toes. Relax your toes. Just gently move your toes a little, let it go, relax it completely. Relax your ankle, uh, sorry, heels. Relax your ankle. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your knees behind the knee. Relax your thighs. As you inhale, tighten your buttock muscles, glute muscles. As you exhale, relax it slowly. Let it go, relax your whole pelvic region. Awareness on your back. Relax your lower back, mid back, upper back. Your whole back is sinking down into the mat. Awareness on your abdomen. As you inhale, your abdomen rises up. As you exhale, it sinks in. Awareness on your lungs. As you inhale, your lungs fill up. As you exhale, it collapses, relaxes the heart with it. Relax your fingers in its natural curve. Relax your palms. Relax your forearms. Bicep. Relax your biceps, triceps, shoulders sinking down into the mat. Tuck in your chin a little, relax the back of your head. Relax the top of your head. Eyebrows, forehead, no frowning. Relax them completely, relax your eyes. 
Relax the teeth in your mouth. Part your lips a little, relax your whole facial muscle. Smile and stay there in this relaxation for a few breaths. Slowly becoming conscious of your physical body. Simply moving your toes and your fingers. Becoming aware of them, relax them. Holding your legs at the knees slowly without giving any jerks to your body. Turning to one side, relaxing your head on that side of the hand. Other hand in front of you. Stay there. Breathe. Taking your time. Take as much time as you need and then come to sitting. No jerks to your body. Be kind, be nice. Love your body. Sitting comfortably. People who already know Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhana, it has many names, you can do. I'm going to teach for the benefit of people who do not know, right? If you do not know how to do it. If you need to open your eyes and look at me, just rub your palms first, relax your eye muscles, then open your eyes. This is what? This is how we are going to do. This is the Nasika Mudra, which we usually use. If this is difficult, like first two fingers closing, the other two open. If this is not possible, you can always just use your thumb and your index finger, right? Just to do this. Or people even do this. See what works for your fingers, right? Don't change, just keep one. And now, as you, you first take an inhalation through both your nostrils, you're going to close the right nostril, exhale out everything from the left nostril. We're going to begin the first round by inhaling through the left nostril. Close your left nostril. Exhale out through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Close your right nostril. Exhale out through the left nostril. Yes, stop your practice. So that is one round of Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Right? You're going to begin your inhalation through the left nostril, exhale, closing the round with the exhalation with the left nostril. If you got it, continue doing. Ma'am, you do regular breathing pattern. This normal breathing. Just sitting in silence. Close your eyes and stay. Stretch out your legs if it's bothering you. And sit. Doing it slowly. All the time. Slow inhalation, slow exhalation. If you don't know what we're doing, just do normal breathing pattern, okay? Don't do it wrong. Just breathe. Close your eyes and stay silent. Stay silent. the next exhalation with the left nostril. Stop your practice. And 
sharing your practice with me today. Thank you. Let there always be good thoughts, good speech, and good action. 